Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're uh, a first-time watcher, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. If you do, please uh, smash that uh, subscribe button and hit that like and uh, leave me a little comment. If you're a returning viewer, uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, uh, I hope you find the video interesting and uh, uh, let's get started, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make something a little crazy today, so I just, I don't know, just something different. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my tools and uh, we're going to grab a ring rail and we'll throw that out there. Just keep it as size 7 for video sake. I'm just going to go to my outside ring rail here real quick and uh, put that in there and then go over here to the profile uh, editor and uh, pick a little different one. I don't know, something maybe... Uh, you know my uh, I like those euro shanks, so ooh, that looks pretty cool uh, But we'll take this one here for this video and uh, We'll just go ahead and do a little manipulation. We'll put this out about a 2.2 That doesn't matter uh, We'll drag this quite a bit high uh, We'll manipulate that later uh, and we'll just take something like that. It, it doesn't really matter how you set it up at this point yet. Uh, and then here, I just I just need it out there so I can kind of get a look, see it for references. I'm going to grab a gem and then I will do a, a gem on a ring rail. Okay, and it throws this one out. Uh, and actually, let's uh, go ahead and take the Y offset, take it out. I don't know something. Uh, Something like that there, just a, about a millimeter over, something somewhere around there. And I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, and now for reference purposes, I need to go ahead and sweep this one here. So let's go ahead and go to our tools to get a profile. We'll grab a profile here, select our curve, that'll be our ring rail. Wait for the populate, I'll go to editor. I just want a simple uh, ring rail on this one here. or. Uh, simple sweep basically and then we'll just lock it to our outside editor or outside rail and it's it's over the top a little bit so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, just kind of thin it down a little don't need it that wide maybe around a uh, two millimeter something like that and it's a little bit but we can manipulate that in a minute uh, we'll just take that uh, for now, and then I'm going to go back to my r uh, outside ring rail and just edit a little bit. I want to draw that up just a little. So, w working in this viewport here, and then watching this viewport here. Uh, so, I'm going to take it up just a little, and that should follow. My profile sh profile should follow, right? So, if I take it up way up here, my profile will follow it up. So, I'm going to take it about the top of my girdle there, somewhere around there. Okay, so when we set this stone, it'll have some uh, nice metal there. And then we'll just go ahead and accept that. And then I'm going to take this stone, and we have to use our editor. We don't want to break history just yet. Uh, and I'm going to drag that in just a little bit, watching this p viewport here. Actually, I can move it from here. Uh, that should be okay. We'll drag it in a little bit more, something like that, and hit Enter. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and sweep this this one here for now. Uh, sweep up, sweep two. We got our outside rail, so we'll take this, uh, this, and this, and we'll hit enter. So that gives us our rail there, right? So let's take this, turn it on. Let's take a look at it. Okay, that should be okay. So I'll accept enter. Now, this is uh, maybe something new. Maybe you didn't know. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this stone and we're going to uh, hold down control and hit C. That should copy it. And then I'm going to hold down control and hit up. Uh, sorry. Get rid of that. So I should have to uh, hold down control and hit V. So it should have given us another stone. So I have two stones here, right? So if I click on this one, it opens up th this editor here. And we'll just go ahead and edit that. And 
we'll go to our top view up top view and we'll just drag this one over to the other side so that it's kind of the same spot yes why I don't mirror and I'll show you here in a second there so if I click on this one I have uh, something I can edit right if I mirror it I have this stone here I can edit or I have this stone here I can edit it uh, separately right so I want to change this one to uh, um, I don't know oval I can do that if I want to change this one to a uh, princess cut I can do that so uh, you can manipulate right let's get rid of this one for a second if I take this and I do a transform uh, mirror over to the other side and hit enter uh, I I don't I just have a mirror right I, I don't have some now if I change this one uh, yeah it'll change the other one I guess if that's what you want to do that's fine but if you want to be able to manipulate them individually uh, you'll want to do it the other way uh, let's go back to our round yeah okay and then I'll just hit enter and I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one we'll just redo that again again I'm gonna click on my stone I'm gonna hit control hold down control and hit C and then I'm gonna hold down control and hit V and it'll give me another stone and in order to move it without breaking history if I just drag it over I'll break history right so I have to select the stone and then I have to go over to the edit and then I have to uh, manually uh, drag it over to the other side to about get it as close as I can as the other one there let's go to our right view and click on here yeah pretty close I guess maybe <laughs> but close enough uh, so ah oh. all right so let's go back to my top since I deleted that oh there we go got that one okay so I'll take it oh got to go to my edit and I'll drag it over and back in and I'll hit enter so I should have one here that I can edit and I have one here that I can edit so there's a gym on ring rail and gym on two gym on ring rails so, and I can in edit them individually so if I want one a little larger smaller different shape uh, I can do all that uh, all right so let's go on uh, let's see alright so from here I'm just gonna take my uh, green uh, and I'm going to uh, select my green and I'm going to change it to this color here and I'm going to hide it oh I should okay uh, change it to this color and then I'm going to hide that and go back to my green okay alright I just want it hid and I can bring it back out anytime right so I, we have this uh, and actually, I could probably. Yeah, we'll wait and do that later. Uh, okay, so uh, now I'm going to grab my ring rail again, go back to my tools, and put another profile placer out there. And this time I'm going to change it to something like the, I'll just something easy. So I'll just grab this one here. You can go through and play around with all those if you want uh, and then I'm going to go to my right view and I'm going to drag it out so that it's kind of right in the center or a little off to the outside of my stone something like that doesn't matter really because you can manipulate it uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and enter and then I'm going to take that go to my transform menu uh, and go to rotate and it'll ask me center of rotation I'm gonna put kind of like just outside here and come down a little bit and it doesn't really matter because you can always manipulate it and then I'm gonna hold down shift I got my snaps so I'm gonna turn my snaps off and I'm just gonna hold down shift again and put it like that now again like I said you can manipulate it right so you can move it in which we want to and we should be able to do our profile editing so we can change the shape of it and there's the bottom of our ring so we have a reference point uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kinda get that to where it pretty closely lines up as close as possible with this one here uh, maybe go up a little bit because we'll have to hammer down on that to set the stone in there we're going to channel set it 
uh, and then I'll just make it a little bit larger and I'll drag it down you can probably put a point out there for reference or whatever and then I'll go to my top view draw a line rather and I'll drag it over a little bit somewhere around here and then I'll just go back to my perspective and then I'll place one down around here all right and we don't want that one so wide so we're going to make that one I don't know three millimeter maybe should be fine uh, and let's see I have that so uh, we'll just accept that for right now uh, and then I'm going to take this and since we have these locked together right uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this and turn it to gray and hide it and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get another outside ring rail so I'll go to my tools grab another outside ring rail go back in here uh, you can grab that same one or you can grab a different one, it doesn't matter. We're only going to use the bottom half of the, the item, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I do want to take this one out a little bit and put it to a 2.5 and drag this one down to a 2.5 as well. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm not even going to mess with the top because it doesn't matter, uh, and hit enter. And then I'm going to go back to my profile and snap it to that outside ring rail okay and then hit enter uh, actually I should go ahead and just me no I don't have to maybe <laughs> we'll hit enter uh, and I'll go to my surface uh, surface one we're just going to use that uh, we just wanted that to be able to put it at a 2.5 very easily and we're going to use it later so uh, you'll see what I mean as we move forward uh, so uh, s rail one being this rail our profile here and our profile here and then we're going to hit enter okay and we want to flip that so it comes like this so now we have this pretty cool huh so we have that going around right and <coughs> Is it going in good enough? Let's go to our top view. Take a look at it. Uh, it's probably... Let's drag this out just a little bit. Give it a little more meat there. It's kind of okay. So let's go ahead and hit that. Let's take that profile. We can always go back and edit it. And we need to s select this profile here. And we'll just drag it in a little bit. Something like that and we'll drag it out a little bit so it has a nice curvature in there so the stone will set you could probably angle that a little bit if you wanted to uh, it's totally up to you uh, to get it exactly where you want it and then we're just going to go ahead and hit that enter and from here what I'm going to do is take oh I, I want to do a little manipulation here sorry uh, I don't want this here so I'm going to cap mirror no and then get rid of that one there uh, and then hit enter so we have this nice little uh, pretty cool shape here let's put it on plastic so you can get a good idea so that's kind of what it looks like uh, and then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that go to my transform go to the mirror dynamic and then switch it over to the other side and hit enter Alright, so now I have that. Let's bring back this here. So we have this here. So it goes into the rail there. And it goes into the rail over on this side. Everything looks okay. For the most part. Uh, so we'll just accept all that. Let's go back here. there, And I'm going to take that and turn it to a little darker color. And looks good, I think okay so right away let's go ahead and put an under bezel on this uh, so go to our uh, settings uh, under bezel and we'll just kind of play around with this a little bit we'll drag it in a little we don't need it so far out there and then actually let's see if we can give it a little style let's select this one see what it looks like Yeah. You can make that bigger or smaller or, uh, you know, however you want. 
and underneath okay looks good uh, we'll just go ahead and take that and then we'll just take this one go to our transform mirror that on the other side and hit enter so we have one on both sides okay uh, from here uh, it's best to go ahead if you're going to do any manipulation on this one I'll change that to a, a dark green so I can see real good and we'll go to our gems no no curve extract iso curve and I'm going to try and get as close to 5 as I can there we go and hit enter and then we'll go to uh, gems on uh, uh, curve select that curve there hit enter and we'll drag these stones over to this side here kind of take a look yeah that's okay we'll go to wireframe go to our front view wireframe <laughs> and uh, we'll drag these up okay so here's my center yeah start point so it needs to go down a little somewhere around there take a look uh, yeah. Okay, and now we need to, of course, make those stones a little bit smaller. But first, let's snap it to our target surface, so we know that they're all going the right direction. And we'll take those gemstones down a little bit. One millimeter should be okay. Don't have to worry too much about uh, this rail here because this rail is just going to be used to cut. They're going to actually hammer this side down in order to uh, lock the stone in. So this is this will just be uh, locked in, uh, just a cut. Uh, they're not going to have to hammer on it, just this side here. So it, it should be fine. Uh, so we'll go to placement, we'll go to table, and we'll just go ahead and accept that keep moving forward uh, we'll select our gems go to our cutters since it's all one piece right now we're gonna uh, manipulate that here in a bit and we'll put our cutters on we'll switch it to um, flat and uh, we'll put it on a wireframe here and we'll drag that out give it some nice room there and we'll open this up a little and we'll go to my our profile editor and pick a different profile I'll go with something like this here and we'll kinda drag that up something like that and that should be okay let me check that edge out is it a little too close? Yeah, a little too close maybe let's open that up a little bit more give us a little bit extra room let's check it out on the yeah that should be fine okay so we'll go ahead and accept that and then we'll go to our solids uh, boolean difference we'll take this one enter this one enter and check it out yeah that's fine uh, looks good all right so we'll hit enter now we'll just go ahead and put our prongs on there uh, so we'll go to uh, settings uh, prong placer brings up our prongs of course first thing we always want to do is put some meat on those prongs uh, give those uh, stone setters uh, something to work with uh, and we'll nudge I don't think we need to do a nudge it looks okay and size I like that's fine we'll go over here to our editor we'll go to those end prongs because of course it didn't nudge those right and our nudge on our other prongs is a 0.15 so let's go to our end prong and our nudge here 0.15 yeah, that's not a 0.15 that is not a 0.15 is that what it says main prongs nudge yeah I don't believe that okay one of them's wrong <laughs> obvious uh, and we'll just uh, nudge those out just a smidge uh, not a little bit more than that not too much yeah something like that and we'll just go ahead and accept that alright so we have our prongs on there we have that this is what we have so far looking pretty good 
Okay, uh, and then from here, what we want to do is we have a jacked up bottom shank. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I know this is a 2.5, and I know that profile is a 2.5. So that outside ring rail on that one should be fine. So I'm going to take. Let's see, where's the? Let's put our. Uh, it's not there. Okay. Well, we'll do it a different way. I could have used my profiles to. I just put the one profile there, so I don't have profiles that I can use as cutters. So I'll go to my top view, uh, top view. Go to my surface, uh, change it to cutter layer, and then I'll just select this, and we'll take that rail heat or that. Sh sh um, shank I guess there and uh, we'll split it with this here and hit enter and we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of that so we have one on here we don't have one on here right so I'm going to take this and just hide it for a second oh, both, oh they're both the same color that's right uh, actually we'll do it to both of them yeah Okay, so we want to dupe, so I'm going to type in D-U-P-E, and it'll dupe edge, hit enter, and I'm going to select that edge, or those edges for that one, and I'm going to select both these here, and I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit join, so they're all joined together, this one should be, yeah, good, okay, there are my cutter layers, so I'm going to select those and change them to my creation layer and I'll do the same thing with this one here uh, creation layer there we go now this one here uh, I'm just going to cap so I'll go to my I think it's tool solids maybe S oh no it was tools uh, tools cap profile and we'll drag that to the outside and we'll hit enter uh, and then we'll do the same thing over here if I can get that profile there cap profile it doesn't matter how far you drag them out so they can be different because we're just going to do a boolean there select all these not that yeah select the this one here join those together close poly surface we're good to go okay so this one we're going to take this rail here and we're going to hide it because I just want this outside one uh, now we're going to go to the rail and put another profile in there and we'll drag it down around to the bottom and we'll change this one to give it a little different look and we'll, we'll take it why not uh, okay, as you can tell, I uh, did not do this before. Uh, this is my first time making this design. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll snap that to this outside rail. All right, and let's see. For uh, let's take it down to. Uh, let's take it a little. Yeah, let's leave it up so we can get that little uh, look that I kind of like. And hit enter. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, and from here what we'll do is we'll go to a surface uh, 2 ring rail here ring rail here this profile not that one this one this one and this one and hit enter and we get something like that oh that's pretty cool yeah all right and let's see let's uh, maintain height that keeps it the same distance let's turn that off see what it looks like I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Uh, you can play around with that. Of course, we do not want the caps, so all caps turned off. Uh, mirror cap off, end cap off, start cap off, all that off. Hit enter. And now we'll just take this, this, and this, and join them together. And did we get a clo closed poly surface? Okay. So from here, it's just uh, boolean that together, right? So now it's probably a good time to, to job bag. <laughs> just before we do this, give it a little second here. All right, so there that is. Uh, and then let's do a boolean. 
a Boolean union, uh, this surface here, enter, with this surface here, enter, and enter. And this one goes to gray, and oh, this one goes to gray, and then we should everything's joined, close poly surface, uh, you're good to go. Just uh, do your cutters there, join those together, and uh, you're, you're toast, you're, you're finished. I'll turn yellow off, turn brown off, let's get a look at it, something like that. Nice thing about this thing is, is like I said, you can, you can always go in and uh, go to your stone and uh, edit it. Uh, you don't want a round maybe, you want a uh, cushion cut. So you can get a cushion cut in there. Uh, and then adjust the size or whatever. Uh, if you don't want a cushion cut, you want a oval. You can put an oval in there. Uh, but it's updating the be under bezel. You'll have to redo the under bezel. Be careful with that because it's locked into that first stone because we mirrored it. Uh, so be careful of that. But uh, otherwise, uh, you could, if it, if you just did each individual individual stone itself it would update by itself so uh, let's take that back to a round uh, round like it was and we'll just escape out of that but there you go um, hope you find the video interesting and uh, helpful and useful uh, and if you did please uh, hit like subscribe and uh, leave a comment below uh, thanks for watching